And right now it's time for that time when we have our special guest. Tonight's special guest is Derek Townsend. Derek's whole life has been about coffee and his company Carajos. Derek makes the proud claim that the term flat white first appeared in one of his cafes in Newmarket. Everyone now knows flat white, now we know where it comes from. We welcome Derek Townsend as our special guest on The Beat Goes On. Derek Townsend, welcome to The Beat Goes On. Thank you. I'd say it's time for a cup of coffee, wouldn't you, Derek? It's always time for coffee. <laughs> now, Derek, we said in our intro that, um, that you invented the term flat white, and it's become international, hasn't it? I opened the first European cafe, real European cafe in Auckland in 1981. I'd been overseas as a really young guy, 17 years old, 18 years old, mm -hmm. saw cafes and how people lived and socialised in, in Europe, thought, Italy, in Europe yeah, Italy, Italy yeah. France, and thought we need that in New Zealand. So I opened in the back of the uh, Civic Picture Theatre building, a cafe called the Cafe DKD, now say 1981. A few years later, after making um, a million odd Flat cups white. of coffee, <laughs> yeah. cups of coffee, yeah. Yeah. I started making a little bit different. You know, I started experimenting. I started making it with um, hot, creamy milk. Mm. And so that was how the flat white, the flat white was yeah. invented. It went from a, a, a black coffee with cold milk to an espresso coffee, which is about 30 mils of coffee mm. with creamy steamed milk. So not bubbly, but creamy. Now, since then, it's gone to the US, it's gone to Europe and to mm. England. It's even the Australians are now starting to make it the New Zealand style. So they still call it the flat white in Australia, but they're starting to make it the New Zealand style, which is an espresso-based drink, which wow. is the European um, traditional uh, way of making coffee. Now, of course, it divides into two. You've been through the barista stage, having your own coffee bars, and now you're into importing coffee. Importing, blending, and roasting yeah. coffee. My company is Carajo's Coffee Company. Now, why did you move out of the serving coffee to uh, selling coffee? I, I, I had a, 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 a sort of epiphany, if you like, and mm. thought, well, coffee should taste nice. Mm. Now, at the time... It can be said, bitter sometimes, can't at it? At the time, yeah. it was very sharp. It was mm. almost like it had um, battery acid in it. If you, <laughs> and so what I tried to do was come mm. up with... Um, I learnt about roasting, I went overseas, mm. I bought the best equipment, and what I tried to do was make it taste nice, so mm. sweet, yeah. chocolatey. Mm. You still need some bitterness. It's almost yeah. like a sweet and sour, so you always need some sharp. Give it a bit you, of character. Yeah. Give it a yeah. character, yeah. give yeah. it a... As I say, like a sweet and sour, but it should also be chocolatey and and round and so, so what yummy. Did you, and what did you do to? Uh, oh, I'll just grab one of these. Here they are. Here. What did you do to, uh, to 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 get the final result that you were looking for? As I say, I bought the best coffee roasting machine you could in the world, mm. which was from Germany. Mm. I trained in Italy, mm. and then I got the expert from the machinery company in Germany who was a 75 year old uh, guy called uh, Heinrich <laughs> and then I roasted about three tons of green coffee mm. um, 12 kgs at a time and tasted it, chucked it in the garden, tasted it, chucked it in the garden so I dug three tons of roasted coffee into my garden until I came up with the perfect wow. blend it's a bit like wine blending. You know, you, you have different grapes which have different flavours. Same with the coffee. Now, uh, our Carajo's coffee would still be the most complex coffee um, mm. in New Zealand. So there's seven different beans. Each bean has a totally different flavour. Gosh, from different countries? or, or Different countries. Some, oh. some from same countries but different places in those countries yeah. even. Like we use three types of Indonesian coffee from three different islands. And um, roasted to different levels, mixed in different percentages, and then you get the espresso coffee. Here it is. It's all in the bag. Now you started producing this coffee, and what were the results? It's uh, obviously, it all took off. You, you, you seem to have a magic uh, formula. It took some time, mm. um, and I guess, I guess because I was my own biggest user, in my cafe Newmarket, we used to have 
13 or 1400 people for lunch every day. Um, That's so we could, we could serve 2,500 cups of coffee a day, mm. whereas Multiple a lot of cafes day. in Auckland would be lucky if they served 1,000 a week. Mm. So we were our own first customer, then we got another one, got another one, and now we've got around 500 customers up and down New Zealand, mainly in Auckland. So right throughout New Zealand, and mainly in Auckland, as you say. Mainly in Auckland, some Bay of Plenty, you know, Waikato, Carajo's they're coffee. using Carajo's coffee. In the early days, right in the early days, we started supplying the supermarkets under their uh, house brand, mm. and I had the philosophy of, well, let's make it taste good, you know, yeah, um, yeah. because I, I, I wonder about a lot of supermarket products. I wonder whether the packaging is the is the important thing and yeah. what goes in the bag, yeah. people don't Packages. care. <laughs> um, there was an international judge about three years ago um, tested the coffees in the supermarkets in, in New Zealand and that house brand of coffee came out bl in a blind taste test as being the best coffee mm. in the supermarkets today. Uh, in the last couple of years we've added our own Carajo's brand, mm. so it was cafe exclusive. Mm. So. I think with the house brand and with our own coffee, we do, I think it's 16% of the New Zealand supermarket business Great. between our house brand and our own brand. A little bit about yourself. Derek Townsend, you're a New Zealander? I am. And you were born in um, Tokara. Tokara. <laughs> I think uh, we didn't live there long because my mother couldn't cope with the, the winters at all. But uh, I, I always think you can't be more of a New Zealander than from Tokara. So I'm, I'm your archetypical, yeah. classic, classical New Zealander. What happens today, Derek, when you go somewhere and they offer you a, a coffee and you know that it's instant coffee? What's your reaction? I, I can't remember the last cup of instant, instant coffee, coffee I drank. It would have been many years ago. I would go without coffee. But instant coffee, they mm. use much cheaper beans. So there's mm. two types or genus, if you like, of coffee beans. There's mm. Arabica, which are grown um, in, in, at altitude, mm. and there's Robusta, which is grown down on the lowlands. And Robusta has a much higher yield mm. per tree. Now Robusta, so it's much cheaper, mm. and Robusta is what's used in instant. Now Robusta also has three times the amount of caffeine. So instant coffee really is, is loaded with rocket caffeine. fuel. You know, <laughs> it really is rocket fuel. Okay. Um, so, as I say, I can't remember the last one I drank. Um, I'd only drink it to stop myself getting a headache. You know, you do get hooked on coffee if it's a pretty mild addiction. But um, if you stop drinking coffee, you would get a headache. So I don't drink much. I drink two cups a day. But the big trend now, and it's been growing and growing, is of course just to have a nice little coffee machine on your bench and uh, you mm -hmm. go through all the, the bells and whistles. Uh, so if you were to make at your home uh, a, a cup of coffee today, how would you go about it? Well, you have to have a good coffee machine. My one is uh, about almost $4,000. But you can buy a really top quality stainless steel one for about $200. It's so once you've got your machine, Yep. And of course, some very, very good coffee, and you can make yourself a lovely brew. And and the, 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 the probably best thing you can do is grind it yourself. When you grind coffee, even now we, we, we grind the coffee, we pack it for the supermarkets within minutes, but it's not as good as fresh ground. So the best thing you could do is, is buy a grinder. So buy good beans, buy a grinder, even if you just had a jug and some mm. hot water. So if you ground the coffee fresh, um, like in a plunger or mm. a jug, put your coffee into the heat the jug. Mm. Uh, put your coffee into the um, into the heated jug. Pour a small amount of boiling water or just off boiling. If it's boiling, it will burn it, so it's just off. Let it soak it up, and then put the rest of the water on top of it. Now, if you've just got a jug, give it a stir. Let the grinds fall to the bottom, and then pour it off the top. Yeah. If you've got a plunger, well, you just plunge it down and um, you can get quite a decent cup of coffee. I like the thick espresso, you know, like the Italian string. Now, speaking of coffee and speaking of time, uh, Derek, we have to uh, finish now. Uh, we've run out of time, but um, I think it's about time we gave away some of your beautiful product to our lucky viewers. 
Exciting so I'm idea. thinking that uh, what about a packet like this? We we say to five of our viewers they could each win a packet. Would that be a possibility? Well, let's be let's be generous. Why don't we say two packets? Well, why not? Thank you, Derek. That's wonderful. Now, what we need to know is we just need a little question that we can ask them. What would be a nice little question? Uh, what style coffee are the Italians famous for? What about a clue? Espresso. <laughs> espresso. <laughs> not espresso. Espresso. <laughs> Email Jared at the beat goes on. Five lucky Multi viewers bene. could win themselves some beautiful, beautiful coffee from Carajos. Derek, you've been wonderful. Glad to see you. Let's go and have a cup of coffee. Good idea.